Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 56. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Giants and the Patriots, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, New England Patriots, taking on the NFC champions, the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis and the Patriots. Charles, what more can you say? Last year, Tom Brady moves on, wins the Super Bowl in Tampa. The Patriots struggle home to a 7-9 finish, and everyone says, ah, this is it. Dynasty's finally over. But they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now make their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I think you have to just applaud what this organization has done, whether you like them or not, because you hit on it in a big way. Most of us assumed that that run was over, but they've retooled, brought in some extra players, changed a few of their philosophies, and here they are again, competing for another Super Bowl crown. Meanwhile, what a turnaround for the Giants. They finished with losing season seven of the last eight years, including six and ten last year. But now, here they are, champions of the NFC, looking for their fifth ever Super Bowl title. And for many of us, we feel like they were here recently, but it has been a little bit of a wait for them to get back to the big game. Remember, they won Super Bowls 42 and 46. Got some fortuitous plays in both of those and wins over the Patriots. Could we possibly see, partner, something like the helmet catch again? Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". And he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC Championship round two weeks ago. This has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback, and he's been very vocal in the days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time, and he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. Manning now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. This is Saquon Barkley. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third play here. This opening drive is up against a third and five. To throw is Manning. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On play action, it's Manning. He'll let this go for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And the Pats are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. 
And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. And Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at the 20. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. A nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him now in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On play action, now Brady. And a first hook up with his own pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Brady now on first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. Not much there, only a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On second down now, it's James. And he'll get this up to about the 40. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On third down, James. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to take another shot here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action, Manning. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves it with third and nine looming. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, Bradshaw. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. to go on second down. Now Manning. Finding some room at midfield. And finally brought down right at the midfield strike. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On play action. Now Manning. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That's the third time on this drive that these two are connected with each other. They've got a real four going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Here's Manning to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Off play action, Brady. He's going deep for Brown. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Second 
second and ten. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. Secondary now for the Giants here on third. To throw, it's Brady. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Dietrich Wise Jr., he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Manning now to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Manning. Trying to lay one up deep. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. A great play there. 65 yards. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years. With the arm strength still there. And he showed it off on that one. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And that throw, amazingly, well over 70 yards in the air, according to next-gen stats. Wow. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Patriots ready to try again on offense. 
They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. to that previous call. He's going to throw out the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And i got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. So far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They fake the handoff, now Brady. Blitz coming and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. As the number one mission of any offensive line, you gotta protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, and this time it's gonna come from the middle linebacker because watching the linemen, it seemed to me that they thought he was gonna drop back into pass protection, but he surprised them and came on the blitz instead and had a pretty clear run to the quarterback. To try again after the sack, Brady. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Keen. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. When you execute a drag or crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Here's Brady to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Dexter Lawrence in there again for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Well, oh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. 
And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points. Not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, go, call it the 21. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first and ten, here's Manning. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. That open man that time, they end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's second and ten. Now Manning. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. We'll get highlights of the Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. So here we are in December, right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Now the Patriots offense, they worked their way back out onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and three, and they trail seven to three, but getting close to changing that, and this defense hoping to limit them to a field goal to preserve the lead. So left side, it's complete. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10, marking down at the nine. Remember, this drive started off the turnover and they've taken no time looking their way down the short field a nice connection there and now they're looking at a first and goal so it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break Brady gonna throw looking left side he's got it complete That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He decided to run a hitch right away. Left tackle guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well.
Second and goal from inside the five. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. scrimmage again the four yard line second and goal now Brady again and it's caught by Gronk for Pat's touchdown four yards on the touchdown Graham and the Patriots have taken the lead you get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive, four plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. again and I guess right now as we look at some of his struggles today the turn next play really applies here he's got to move on I love where your head is on that because that's where his head needs to be exactly what you said yes there have been mistakes made but he's got to move on and play the next play as if it didn't happen keep his confidence up but how about the guys on the defensive side of the ball they've got to be feeling great about what's going on right now they've already gotten to him a few times they want to keep that up maybe they can pick off a few more now they disrupted already for three ints the giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive trying to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw and all this is taken in one hand and what a catch. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. First and ten. To throw, it's Manning. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Manning to the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a Let's catch. Go. Let's go. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Now Manning again. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pick up of eight. Oh. 
So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards if things continue the way they've been going. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Well, the Patriots take it over to start quarter number three, and I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On play action, it's Brady. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a give, right side. It's James, and they're gonna stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Brady. James has got it, complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And just like that, it's third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. They have five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Brady now to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Let's take a 